I've run into this a couple of times before where people have tried to attach audio to their multi-state objects that they're using for click to reveal type interactions. And invariably they have problems with that, especially if there's existing slide audio on the slide as well. So today I'm going to share with you my solution to a click to reveal that contains multiple audio items. So I've set up this very simple interaction here. I've got uh, four different uh, click to reveal buttons. Um, I've not done very much with them so far. I've just basically created an advanced action that changes the state of this image object here. And uh, let me just show you what that's going to look like. So I've set up a multiple state object that includes different vacation destination photos that I've taken. And like I said, your, your instinct might be to, um, you know, add audio to these multiple states. But unfortunately, that's not going to quite work out for you, as if you try to experiment with it, you'll see. Uh, in this case here, I'm taking a different approach. So what I have is I've got uh, some slide audio here. Let's just bring up the, uh, the timeline and share that with you. I have traveled a great deal during my adult life and got to enjoy many different cultures and locations. Here are four of my more favorite vacation spots. Click on each button to learn more. So the first thing I want to deal with is these click buttons themselves. Uh, there's slide audio that runs for a little bit more than 10 seconds on this particular slide. And for those who are eager to get into the interaction itself, some users might click these buttons uh, before that audio narration completes. Now you could actually disable the buttons and enable them once the audio is played through, but I don't want to hold anyone back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select each of these buttons and go to the properties panel under the options tab and we'll just you know when when users click these buttons we just go, we're just going to automatically stop slide audio when clicked is the option that comes up do the same thing for all of these buttons here so that takes care of stopping any slide audio that's playing when a user first clicks here now like i said i've set up a very basic um, advanced action for each of these buttons. If we go to the Dominican advanced action, you'll see all I'm doing is changing the state of this multi-state object to the Dominican state, which just shows a photo uh, that I took in Dominican Republic. But we're going to do a couple of other things here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to stop any triggered audio. Right? So if I've pressed one of the other buttons and triggered some audio, I want to stop those from playing. And then I'm going to play the audio file, and I can select this right from my library for Dominican Republic. And there's a little narration there on that. And that's basically it. So let's, uh, let's update this action. And I'll do the same thing for Jamaica. Again, we'll stop any previously played audio. And we will play the audio associated with Jamaica. We'll update that action. And I'll do the same thing for Cuba here as well. This won't take very long. Stop the triggered audio and play the Cuba audio. Update that action. We'll hit close. So now just to recap again, if a user clicks any one of these buttons from the options tab, I'm going to stop any slide audio that's playing. And of course, once they click on a button, it'll run the advanced action, which will change the state of my multi-state object, stop any previously played audio from one of the other buttons, and then play the audio that's associated with that particular topic. So let's close this and we'll just do a preview in HTML5. 
So what I'll do with this particular slide, once we go to the interaction slide, you'll hear some initial audio at first. I'm sure it'll just be in the background from my microphone picking it up. But the end result is I'm going to interrupt it by clicking one of the buttons. Then you'll hear the audio associated with that. And then I'll try all the buttons and make sure it works. I have traveled a great deal during my adult life and got to enjoy many different cultures and locations. The Dominican Republic is the most... So you can see that clicking on Dominican Republic stops the slide audio and then plays the audio associated with Dominican Republic. Let's try the other buttons. So you can see that works uh, rather well. And again, it, it doesn't uh, allow any of the audio to overlap with one another and gives you an interaction that I'm sure your learners will enjoy using. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.